Welcome to Pardon That Vine. My name is Christopher Gabono, and this is the world's most unbiased wine review forum. And uh, today is the day before my wedding. I am uh, fully arrived. I'm right up against it. It's uh, you know less than 24 hours away. So I uh, I figured that I would drink uh, my favorite bottle of wine that I've ever had with my father today. This is a truly special bottle of wine, and I can uh, I can say without question up to date in my life, and I've tasted a lot of wines, this wine has blew me away the most out of any wine I've ever tasted. It's called Giuseppe Quintarelli um, Alzero, and it's the 1998. Giuseppe Quintarelli is uh, known as pretty much the king of Veneto. He's a, uh, he makes Amarones. I've not discussed Amarones yet, but I will in future shows. He makes Amarones, Valpolicellas, and he makes this wine called Alzero. Alzero is a 100% Cabernet Franc. However, it is made the way Amarone is made in the Apacimento process. And what this means is that you they basically pick the grapes and dry them out on bamboo trays. Now they're doing it some other ways now in the more modern day. But they dry them out to increase the sugar content of the grapes. So the the, uh, the flavor profile of Amarone, if you ever had it, is almost has a, you know, a little bit of a sweet taste, but it's extremely unique. But this wine is done with Cabernet Franc. It is as rare as it, you, you know you can imagine. It's I, there's a very few producers who make Cabernet Franc in the world this style. Um, and the amazing thing about Quintarelli is he only releases bottles of wine when it's made to perfection. The last time he released Del Zero was 1998, which is incredible to me. Um, so let's uh, let's get into this. Look at this bottle. It's a beautiful handwritten bottle. Um, this is. The 1998, like I said, it's 15% alcohol, which is high for Italy, um, and uh, I'm beyond excited to drink this. I've been looking forward to drinking this for weeks, but by the way, this unfortunately, this wine is retail $440. Um, it's very, very hard to find. Um, you know, it, there's a few bottles here and there left. Um, I know there's some some of the 1997. If you are into wine, this would be more for people who are really into wine. If you're into wine, please go buy a bottle because one of these days it's going to be out. He has not made it since '98. He keeps everything really close to his vest, Giuseppe Quintarelli. So we don't know when the the next year that he's making Alzero is going to be. But uh, please go buy a bottle. Unbelievable smell. Um, it's just like it's like. Blueberry pie, blackberry pie. I feel like I could put the glass here and still smell it. It's that powerful. And yet again, blows me away. I mean, it's basically a perfect wine in my opinion. It's beautiful smell, like we talked about, and then it just uh, the, the the flavors just come bursting out into your mouth, and then it kind of, you know, just the tannins come in at right at right right at the right time, and then just fade away. And I can still taste it right now. It, the way I would describe this, or for California Cabernet drinkers, is this is like one of the best Cabernets you've ever had mixed with one of the best Damarones you had and just combine it and it's that wine. It's just an amazing, amazing wine. I give this 97 points. Um, I believe it got a 93 from Parker. The 1997 got a 97. Um, Alzero, Giuseppe, Quintarelli, special occasion, really special occasion wine. And uh, you know, one day uh, I hope you get to try this. Anyway, with that, I uh, am going to go and get married tomorrow and I will See you on Monday. Have a great day. Thank you.